This is the MITRE ATT&CK Analytics Overview Dashboard within LogPoint. Um, as you can see, for those of you who know, if I open up the, the actual MITRE, um, the attack.mitre.org website, you'll see that this is their sort of chart down here on the right-hand side, exfiltration. Clicking on exfiltration shows you what they deem to be important and relevant for the framework. Um, I'll show you this here is LogPoint's actual send. This is on LogPoint's website. This is how we have mapped the, the MITRE attack into our technology. There's automated um, exfiltration. You click on it, gives you a brief, a brief description. You can click on various other links to go and read up further and understand what's going on. So within LogPoint, we have mapped the entire framework, leveraging any log that comes in to be targeted towards one of those categories. So let's jump in briefly first, and I'll show you the configuration. We jump into our configuration and then into our knowledge base. Alert rules, right? Alert rules are how incidents are generated, continues on to email page, whatever the case is to be a notification. Here are all of the rules that make up the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Um, these are them all actually listed in, in, in an actual linear fashion. If I change the view to our coverage, that now it looks exactly like the MITRE's framework. And you'll see here is exfiltration on the right hand side. I've got five out of five rules active. When I click on that, it shows me L, this is my first rule, LP, suspicious compression tool parameters. This load is triggered, Windows systems, the collection of exfiltration, and it's got a T1020 tag or a T1560 tag associated with that. We can set up notifications if, if we need to do that for that. So that is literally how LogPoint just maps directly into the MITRE ATT&CK framework. No work done by the end user. Once you install it, this is active. To leverage this, if we go inside LogPoint and we click on our incidents, you're going to see here I've got one incident here that has already been tagged as privilege escalation. Now, this comes right out of the MITRE ATT&CK framework, right? Privilege escalation, defense evasion, persistence. T1484, T1098, and T1548. These are events that have been generated. So let's go and look at the, I'll go and look at the actual raw data that generated this event. Here is the raw data that actually generated. This is what you would see if you were not running LogPoint. Um, a little cryptic, I'm not sure how people manage, but you know there is all the raw data. LogPoint takes that information, we map it out as part of our parsing process. We bring it in, we're able to tag it and label it and do everything else we need to do to that. But then leveraging the query, as soon as we go and query this, we're able to show the user, wow, this event's just come in. This actually matches an element within the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Tag it, create an incident, push it up, and now suddenly we have workflow associated where a user has to get inside. Uh, they have to deal with it. They have to mark that solved, you know, open case, contact EDR. Do, they need to process this information to enhance the, the, that the organization is completely secure.